Hi YouTube, it's Jordan from JD Leo Experts, and this video is on how to care for crickets. So, as you see here, I have a small breeding box, which is made for mainly the reptiles to breed in, but I don't, I don't breed for one, and I don't really want to have any gecko in such a small thing. But if you want to have a gecko in something like this, you can get extra large, large, medium, small. And this is as small as they get. And this is all I want just for my crickets. I don't like too big because it's harder to get the crickets. And I don't buy too much crickets at first, so. As substrate for the crickets, I, I like to use oatmeal flakes. Um, you, if you're out doing a grocery order or your parents have something in your cabinet or shelf or wherever you put this um, oatmeal and stuff like this, um, just take a couple handfuls and a couple handfuls pretty much fills this. Um, I have a store called Bulk, Bulk Barn here in Sydney and I got this and dog food for cheap, uh, 120 for each and it goes by pound so it's really good and um, I just got two pounds one pound for oatmeal and one pound for the dog food and I had these plastic cups here just laying around kicking around the house and I decided to use the bottoms of them for dishes but then I was wasting the rest of the cups so I made little houses here but I'm gonna put some egg cartons and stuff in just small little pieces to keep the crickets from fighting, giving them their space. Um, as you see here, I have dishes. This is just a small dish with toilet paper, wet toilet paper, which is kind of like a drink for them, because if you have water dish full of water in there, and they, they can drown themselves when they're jumping or running around, and when they're drinking, they could fall in. And I just like using this. Many breeders and... Reptile owners use this for their cricket water. Um, other things you can get are like Fluker's wet cubes, I think they're called. And it's put them in like a small dish like this or a dish that you get at your pet store for a reptile or a rabbit or something like that. And you just put it's a little green cube and you put it in and that serves as a water source. In the back here you see that I have uh, dog food. I didn't crush it up or nothing because I, I, I want to know if the crickets are even eating it. And if they're eating it it's by like a week or a day or two, there should be some kind of like dent inside of it showing that the, one of the crickets were at it eating it. And I just filled up the whole red dish full of that. And in the back, this is like a spare container. Uh, I like to give put like fresh fruit and vegetables in here. But um, when I'm not put in, having anything like that in here, I take that out and I put it away somewhere in like a shelf or something that I have for my supplies. And when I'm putting like a watermelon cubes, like we that we like we mentioned on our website, um, it's one of our favorite things to give our crickets. And I just put a few in there, some carrots and stuff. Uh, potato peels, mainly like compost. I don't like to go out and buy quality items and just give to my crickets and mealworms. Uh, whatever we have left, like leftovers, we'd give it to them. And like stale Cheerios, we put in with our mealworms. And like, I don't mind spending five bucks on something for something like this, but if it's like ten, twenty dollars, I don't want to spend all that just for crickets and mealworms. So uh, I just use the leftovers and whatever we have kicking around the house. So, um, as you see in the back here, I have two cups and uh, half a cup on top. The other half cup slipped. I'm going to have to glue that down. But that just, like, keeps space and make the crickets feel a little bit more secure than in the open. And, um, moving on to ventilation and air. It's nice to have a box like this with the little air holes you see in the top. I'll get a top angle view so you can see. See these little holes there? That's good for ventilation. And then with all this on the side, um, that's good for ventilation and ventilating the air. And since this was made for breeding, 
instead of opening up the cover, you have like a door, so you can pick up your gecko or put it in or something, if you want to put like a dish or something in. And then you have this thing here on the side. This is to pull crickets in with your little tongs or your hands, and you just pop it in, as so, and then you close this back over. It's a good little thing if you're breeding, and you got one on this side too. As for depth of the container, um, it's around a good four inches, and it works good. Uh, with baby crickets, you need something a little bit higher, considering that um, they, the baby crickets can jump very high. And you're going to want to put some kind of slippery like tape along the top edge. And that just helps because the smaller crickets with smaller feet could climb up the glass or plastic just a little bit and they might fall or something like that. But sometimes it can, they can actually get up pretty far. And with that tape, it'll um, make it very slippery and th the cricket would fall and it won't have a chance to jump up and catch on anything but even if it does get up it can't really get out of these holes but depending on the size like just newborns might be able to squeeze through but it, uh, it never happened to me ever um if we're gonna be breeding I don't I don't have it in here at the moment but I made a, it's just a small little dish it's a little bit bigger than that but not by much and it um I put fine, like very fine dirt inside, then I put a screening all over top. And what it's going to do is when the f males are mating with the females, the female is going to stick its little black prong in the middle down into the screen and bury her eggs. And since the males eat the eggs, it's best to have a screen on top. And that helps to have more, qua more quantity of eggs. Well, that was on how I care for my crickets. I want to have another video on how to care for my for mealworms. Uh, maybe uh, after today, probably tomorrow or something. And um, I don't have any crickets in here currently because I just made this up now. And my crickets are like I got them shipped out from a store online, and I'm still waiting to, for them to arrive. And hopefully, I don't know yet, but I might buy some wax worms. Just tree for my geckos for something different and to fatten up their tails in case I ever do breed. But I doubt that's going to happen with space and money issues going involved. But thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. And this was Jordan from JD Leo Experts. Thanks for watching, guys.